in the critter corner. It is. So again, for a, a small donation. Small donation to the Science Center. We're going to feed our animal ambassadors, including Ima the box turtle, who's here right here with us. Yeah. Um, some of their tasty critter snacks. So you can donate and name one of these yeah. insects that will be fed. That's right. Okay. And we're going to record the feeding. And we're going to post up on Instagram on Valentine's Day, and you can save those videos and cherish it forever. All right. And we also want to let people know this weekend, last week is before solutions. It is. And Sunday is a sensory-friendly day. That's right. And details are on our website, so you can go learn more about all these things that we just talked about. Wonderful. CTSciencecenter.org is where you need to go. Sean, thank you so much. And, of course, we hope you make the Science Center a destination of yours this weekend. Thank you, gentlemen. 626 is now the time. We've got a little bit of precip in parts of southeast Connecticut this morning. Let's take it in, show you the first alert live radar the only live radar in Connecticut, right down 395 in Norwich, Monville, down through New London, it's plain old rain, but it is doing a little bit of a mix in Griswold, Volunteer, and Plainfield, Brooklyn, and Franklin, so just exercise caution, okay? As we move through the day today, the temperatures are going to soar into the low 50s with improving conditions, increasing amounts of sunshine, but the clouds are back with us tonight, tomorrow is a mostly cloudy day, but temperatures get even milder. Whoa, wait till you see that forecast, and then a first alert for Tuesday. It's all coming up in our next half hour. Good morning, Kate. Hey, good morning, Scott. Good morning, everybody. We officially are uh, done with the overnight construction. We'll wait for the daytime work to pick up just about 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning. We're taking a live look outside here at 95 north and southbound right by the Route 9 connector. We do have that mixed precipitation Scott keeps talking about. We do have some reduced visibility across the state, so please make sure that as you're getting ready to head out the door, that you are taking a little bit of extra time to get where you're going safely. I'm Caitlin Francis with your Connecticut Chevy First Alert Traffic Report, driven by your Connecticut Chevy dealers. We'll be right back.